Ah, uh, but wait a second. I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's go back where this all started, Sebring. So one of the biggest challenges with chartering is all of the um, cooking. There is three meals a day plus an appetizer and sometimes a dessert and a drink um, to be made. So between cooking all of that and cleaning up off, uh, after all of that, it makes it so I would spend the entire time in the kitchen. So obviously I need to be in other places than the kitchen as I am more than just a uh, chef and a cleaner. So I prepare as much as I possibly can from my home. I freeze it and I um, then just have to take it out and thaw the night before in the refrigerator and cook it the next day. So it greatly reduces the amount of time I spend in the boat's kitchen. But it's still a lot of work to do beforehand. Um, a lot of shopping, a lot of preparation goes into it, so I'm going to give you a quick, I'm trying to block the sun with my head, <laughs> I'm going to give you a uh, speed version of all the stuff I prep. Thanks to Pinterest, I'm going to take all these ingredients and turn them into a pumpkin spice french toast casserole. And voila! We have ourselves some pumpkin french toast. Wait, back up. We forgot the most important part of the meal prepping process. Hey Google, play Dave Matthews Band. Alright, here's Dave Matthews Band on Pandora. Thank you everybody very much again. I hope you have a good afternoon with us. So I can snap. Pesto meatballs. And there you have it. Meatballs for pesto meatballs for meatball subs. Tater tot casserole. And three are done. Holly likes to put together a very extensive menu. That way the guests remember what it was they ordered. All right, time to see if we can squeeze this into this. One full truck. Now to get it all on board. Well, you know, this is the craziness that is pre-departure in Fort Lauderdale. We are leaving for the Bahamas for our Thanksgiving charter. And earlier there were 32 bags in here. And now you just got to try to find out where everything fits. Right, honey? Just smile, smile, smile. Smile, smile, smile. So the weather has not been exactly the best, and the best day to go would have been yesterday, but of course we weren't ready to go and we had other things to do. So we go today in four foot seas, and it is what it is. We are up, like a herd of turtles. Just pulled out, gotta stop and get fuel at the fuel dock. And then uh, stick our nose out and pray the good Lord is gonna take it easy on us because it's uh, not looking good. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Bridges are closing. 5.34 p.m. Sun is going down. 
we are about to stick our nose out and see how bad it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this weather doesn't look very pretty. Sure, let's go with that. So you do like two times rougher in the port than it is. Oh, well, it's usually because it's, nope. there's traffic. Racing try under sail. Reefed a good bit. Um, turned yesterday and um, decided to take another crack at it this morning. So it is 6 30. We are going under the 17th Street Bridge as we speak. And we are going to pop our nose back in it and see what it looks like in the daylight. Probably not going to be much better, but at least we can see it. Gauge surf and I don't know. Try and get over there because that's our last shot. So here we go. Sunrise this morning. We are. Under sail. About ready to throw the jib out. Well, we just hit the Gulf Stream, kids. It is definitely better than last night. Going to the Bahamas for her birthday, she said. It'll be fun, she said. Vikings in there. You can see the screen. All right. So we're this yellow line. We came all the way in, and now we're heading all the way back to where we came from because west end is full. And then we tried to anchor here, and we slid all around. So now we are heading to settlement point to anchor. that he needs a adjustable wrench and I translated it into turn the high pressure on. 
five seconds off. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, off. Never a dull moment here on the space between. Time to turn and burn the boat. What do you call it? Yes. Swabs? Yes. Hey. You ready, Swabs? Yes. No, oh, you don't put this in there. It's got remores on them. Look, move your brush. You swam under the boat and then sat right there and was... Focus, focus. We are docked. We are, for the most part, clean. Little touch-ups here and there. We are unloaded. And we are clean, uh, showered, and we are going to the Tipsy Seagull. To A, have a well earned Goombay smash, and B, uh, celebrate my birthday, which is Wednesday. But I will not be with my family. I will be on a charter on Wednesday, so we are going to celebrate it tonight. And the boys are going to stay with my mom and Bill from here on out. And yeah, what a day! Got it all done though, and it's only 549. Don't forget to join us next time when we pick up our guests, get some really rough seas, and get to play with the pigs. <laughs>